Hey, Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge. Here's number Sonnet 35. It's a 67 two-stroke Sonnet 2, owned by Larry Williams for many, many years. Then uh, Marty and his dad have owned it too. Marty Adams up in Meyer Saab, and then Charlie up in Minneapolis has owned it. And uh, I'm currently the current caretaker of this unit. And uh, shortly after I picked it up, it started to uh, leak water into the uh, rear cylinder. And you can see the head gasket's got some intrusion there on it. And uh, I think what can cause this rear gasket to go bad, say more than the rest of them, they had trouble with all of them anyway a little bit, but is this bracket. You know, a lot of times when guys do an engine removal, they'll take that bracket loose from the head rather than pulling your 5 16 nut and washer and set up on that, on that little side brace that comes in here. And when you do that, you obviously lose the torque on your head and you can cause issues. And I know here in my shop, every time we work on one, I caution guys, do not take those bolts out. Take it loose here, all right? Don't be a, don't be a dipshit. So anyway, um, avoid doing this, and, and you'll have less head trouble. That said, this was a, a good running motor, uh, performed really well. I hadn't really had a chance to drive it, but Marty Adams had driven it a bit and was running really nice. Um, we got it apart here to because uh, of the water. It you know has rust everywhere inside. You know the any water at all will get into the bearings your sealed bearings in here in the, in the bottom end of the crank. So you're automatically doomed for a failure if you've had water in it. Um, if we take a look here, I think you can see, even without me holding the light, see that rod where it's broken? That cage, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at this cage right here inside this rod. And you know, I've got a video where I talk about these cages being brittle and they break. And I don't know, sometimes I don't think people believe me. So, you know, I, I, I break them a lot. Just to show how easy they break and uh, they they're a problem they weren't a problem when they were new because it was new aluminum or aluminium as they say in australia but as as aluminum aluminium ages aluminum ages it does get more brittle i've got a pretty large transmission shop here about 30,000 square feet we've probably got 3,000 transmissions in house and i guarantee you aluminum ages and it'll get brittle as it gets older we see strip bolts um, crack cases all kinds of issues with aluminum with age anyway uh, that said you know there are some better cages out there being made today but um, you just got to be careful because here's a good running engine and it was ready to die I think you can see that in there and it's cracked it's cracked all the way around I mean it's it's it should look like this this one's not cracked but with age and with any detonation, it could have been if some water gets in there. That's definitely going to cause us an issue. But uh, one thing we're doing to combat, you know, these cages now, um, I have contracted a manufacturer. We're in the process. I'll have a video later. But uh, we're going with a modern bearing inside here, a modern snowmobile uh, jet ski two-stroke bearing. Lots of rollers, lightweight, doesn't lock up, cause issues at high RPM. Um, so that's a fix we've got coming. The rod will actually be a smaller diameter. I'm having new rods made. And again, we'll talk more of that in another video. Um, another thing I'm doing is I'm having long rollers. This is one I use for a sample to, to beat on and, and test and verify integrity and Rockwell hardness and all that on one of my test samples. But um, the top end wrist bearing, we're going to get that made in 29 millimeter length. So it'll fill the whole width of the rod, which right now they don't. As you can see there so we're gonna get that done and that'll be a modern these will be silver plated bearings and uh, they'll have coatings on them to make them even more durable but uh, just because your engine runs doesn't mean it's good and you know, if you've had water in it I would really encourage you to take it apart you can see the you can see the rust in this and, and this car didn't have water in it that long uh, it doesn't take much uh, of the two wrist pin bearings one was already messed up with rust uh, obviously number three so even if you think you got a good one you may not and that's why if you've got a used engine it's going in a nice car you're going to drive it and want it to be dependable don't want it to break down when you're out stroking around having fun yeah you might want to have that crankshaft rebuilt a lot of guys here in the country dave bauer out east uh, bud clark myself we all rebuild them everyone does a pretty good job with it so wherever you send it you'll get a quality job and it will be better than your original one and again, as we go forward here, hopefully we'll have these new bearings and rods available um, early spring, probably late spring, early summer of, of 2016, and that'll be a game changer for sure. But anyway, for now, that's all I wanted to show you is the, the brittleness and the, 
the vulnerability, if that's the word I can use, of these uh, cages because they sure break. Anyway, this is Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge, Iowa, signing off.